So you want to join Anonymous? You cannot join Anonymous. Nobody can join Anonymous. Anonymous is not an organization. It is not a club, a party or even a movement. There is no charter, no manifest, no membership fees. Anonymous has no leaders, no gurus, no ideologists. In fact, it does not even have a fixed ideology. All we are is people who travel a short distance together. Much like commuters to meet in a bus or tram for a brief period of time we have the same route, share a common goal, purpose or dislike. And on this journey together, we may well change the world. Nobody can speak for Anonymous. Nobody could say you are in, or you are out. Do you still want to join Anonymous? Well, you are in if you want to. How to get in contact with others? Anonymous has no centralized infrastructure. We use existing facilities of the internet, especially social networks, and we are ready to hop on to the next one if this one seems compromised, is under attack, or starts to bore us. At the time of this writing, Facebook, Twitter and the IRC appear to host the most active congregations. But this may change at any time. Still, these are probably the best places to get started. Look for terms like anonymous anonymous and other keywords that might be connected to our activities. How do I recognize other anonymous? We come from all places of society. We are students, workers, clerks, unemployed. We are young or old. We wear smart clothes or rugs. We are hedonists, ascetics, joy riders or activists. We come from all races, countries and ethnicities. We are many. We are your neighbors, your co-workers, your hairdressers, your bus drivers and your network administrators. We are the guy on the street with the suitcase and the girl in the bar you are trying to chat up. We are anonymous. Many of us like to wear Guy Fox masks on demonstrations. Some of us even show them in their profile pictures in social networks. That helps to recognize each other. Have you been infiltrated? If you talk to another anonymous, you will never know who he is. He may be a hacker, cracker, fisher, agent, spy, provocateur, or just the guy from next door. Or his daughter. It is not illegal to be anonymous. Nor is it illegal to wear Guy Fox masks. Keep that in mind. If you personally have not been involved in illegal activities, you have nothing to worry, no matter whom you talk to, if you have, it is wise not to talk about it. To no one. How do I protect my privacy? Invent an alias, the nick, the pseudonym, call it as you will, just invent something. Then register the mail account in that name with one of the big mail providers. Use this email address to register your Twitter, Facebook, etc. accounts. Make sure to clear all cookies before you start using your new identity, or better use a different web browser for anonymous than for your other activities. If you have higher needs for security, ask us about encryption, steganography, torrent, etc. Many of us know how to use them. We will always respect your need for privacy. We will never ask for your personal information. If we do, we will not expect a truthful answer, and neither should you. What is the right thing to do? The only person who can't tell you what is right for you is yourself. This is also the only person you should follow. We have no leaders. You are also the only person responsible for your actions. Do what you think is right. Do not what you think is wrong. How many anonymous are there? We are more than you think. We are more than anybody thinks. We are many. And you are now one of us. Welcome to Anonymous. Ladies and gentlemen tourists, in Spain is a peaceful revolt, but the government is using repression to silence the protests, the victim camps and brutally repress some peaceful people. If everything continues like this, to hide their eyes we will be noted, and will become an unsafe country for tourists. Anyway begins a campaign to see how democracy works in this country, and hit and repress some peaceful people, the only crime they commit is to demand their rights and freedoms. If that can't be considered a crime, more in a supposed democracy. We have nothing against you as against our government, but our struggle and the objective of this operation is to damage the tourist trade as a tool of struggle. Sorry for the inconvenience. Possible strategy of defense. Lately we have seen the commissioning of camps and demonstrations and various solutions of tourist country, including Spain. They are countries that Anonymous is being repressed also by arrests. Good. My proposal is simple. To warn our government 
that if they continue with repression, diffuse throughout the world that these countries are not safe for tourists. We can make tourism beastly if we fall, and we know it. They want to clean quotes countries where social discontent did not see or images that may tarnish the image of its tourist paradise, also in quotes. Now as the Merkins they want to do out of sight of tourists can, as if nothing had happened. As the campers do not exist, for the angry and here is tied to the dogs and sausages. Be very careful lords, ruling that they can backfire. For the time being evicted, a few camping trips, in some cases they themselves had thought of doing, and have been so peacefully in his foot, and had they not had such a hurry. This is the beginning of a series of videos, in several languages, that show the reality they want to hide, and spread throughout the network, among other possible actions, to a minimum of tourism, know the kind of democracy, we have in this country. Do not play with us, and less with violence, and arrogance are the losers. If necessary they will ruin the tourism business, if tourism and hide from the eyes of the tourists is their goal. We will be present, at parties and events, to let them know tourist attraction, and show the true reality of the country. Anyway refrain from attempting to leave the kingdom, by force and without any negotiation, it will be worse. You will see. Hello, my my, hasn't it been a long time? Today's lecture, what does anonymous mean? Anonymous means to conceal one's identity. But doing so is meaningless if you are alone. One is still identifiable. What then would be the ideal situation to be anonymous? To be one of many, to be anonymous you must be part of the crowd, 
but this unfortunately puts you at its mercy. This is a scary concept, under the whims of a nameless faceless crowd. But the anonymous you have heard, is not nameless, is not faceless, they are minions from 4chan, idiots who spout insane messages, who attack organizations, who attack individuals. They are attempting to turn a concept into a group, an organization based on a flawed ideology, spawned from internet jokes. The worst part, is how serious these people take their idiocy. To call yourself anonymous now, is to lump yourself in with all the hackers, all the criminals of today's media. But then, calling yourself anonymous, kind of defeats the whole purpose doesn't it? Anonymous. To conceal one's identity. Stay free. Greetings from Anonymous. For the past decade, the government has tried to take control of our internet ocean. In an effort to stop these acts of injustice, Anonymous has joined collective forces with LulSec in our newest operation, Antisec. We are sending our fleet to fight alongside the Lulz boat to reclaim what is rightfully the people's. We encourage anyone and everyone, to man their vessels and charge their lasers. We encourage defacements of the enemy's websites, and use of the word Antisec on any and every website or pro-censorship group. Any exposed intelligence the enemy decides to withhold from us, should be brought to light. It's time to show the corrupt governments of the world that they have no right to censor what they do not own. Anyone and everyone is strongly urged to join our fleet through rough waters in our attempts to restore the tainted internet sea. No matter your skin color, origin, or beliefs, we invite you to join us in our fight against censorship and corrupt governments. Come aboard or walk the plank. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive corrupt governments. We do not forget censorship and justices. Expect us.